students today we will be learning and understanding the very useful concept called as laplace transform of derivatives now this is very critical and important because it gives you the tool to solve differential equations now why differential equations are important because they find their application in almost all branch of science and engineering including computer sciences and as well as in big data analytics from facial recognition to the smallest or to the ignorable bacterial growth you can name anything for that matter so all of these applications that are connected with science and technology can only be solved with the understanding of differential equations and these differential equations can only be reduced to solvable solutions by laplace transforms so having mentioned that let us proceed on so the topic is laplace transform of derivatives so let me state the definition if we are given this laplace transform of f of t is equal to f of s and f dash of t is continuous that's critical then the laplace transform of f dash of t is equal to s times laplace transform of f of t minus f of 0 this is also written as s times capital f of s negative f of 0 right you can either write it like this laplace transform of f of t this is the function that is given or you can write it as s times capital f of s followed by negative f of 0 so we will be first learning how exactly we can prove this so that's also where that's very critical so for most what we will have to do is we will have to first consider the left hand side so what is in the left hand side consider the left hand side the laplace transform of let me write it like this laplace transform of f dash of t is integral 0 to infinity e raised to the power negative st f dash of t times dt we got this now what we are going to do is i am going to be taking my u to be as e raised to the power of negative st this is my u and my db i am going to be taking it as f dash of t times dt Now I'm going to differentiate u. I get du. I'm going to differentiate this quantity. This is going to be e raised to the power of negative s t. The differentiation is with reference to t. So the coefficient of t is negative s. Substitute that times d t. Now in this case, I would have to integrate because my intention is to get rid of this differentiation. So integral of d v will give me v integration of this quantity f dash of t d t. will give me f of t that's it fair enough so after performing this uh, let us move on to sub use it in the uh, formula what is the formula integration by parts okay integration by parts tells us integral u dv is equal to uv negative integral v du this is the formula we've got so using the values of u v du dv if i were to take this as 2 2 can be returned as rewritten as so u what is my u e raised to the power of negative st that's my u dv my dv is f dash of t times dt there's an integral sign so place the integral the limits are from 0 to infinity 
right so this is what we are trying to solve and on the right side my u is e raised to the power of negative st my v is f of t the limits are 0 to infinity negative integral limits are 0 to infinity my v is f of t my du is negative i want to write this quantity of negative s e raised to the power of negative st of course i will place my dt here my v is f of t so i substitute the upper limit this has to be s here right so e raised to the power my t is 0 so it's going to be negative s times of 0 because t is a variable times f of 0 right so you can see the s there because i'm substituting the values for t so followed by negative times negative is positive integral s this variable that we are using to integrate is t so i can take s out so that that would give me e raised to the power of negative s times t f of t times dt now this is going to be zero now e raised to the power of negative s times zero will give me zero that's going to be one so i get a negative f of zero followed by s times now what is this integral e raised to the, to the power of negative s t times f of t dt this is nothing but our favorite laplace transform of the function f of t if i were to rewrite this this is going to be equal to s times laplace transform of f of t negative f of 0 or i can rewrite this as s times capital f of s negative f of 0 now what is on the left hand side the left hand side we started with this integral 0 to infinity e raised to the power of negative s times t <coughs> excuse me times f dash of t times dt so this is let me write that down integral 0 to infinity e raised to the power of negative s t f dash of t times dt this can also be written as laplace transform of f dash of t right so you got a beautiful result that will come in handy so that is this proof students i hope you understood this let's move on students we're given this question to find the laplace transform of f double dash of t so from definition what can we write so this is what is required so i'm going to give you the solution over here solution from the definition of laplace transforms we know that so what do we know we know that laplace transform of f double dash of t is equal to integral 0 to infinity e raised to the power of negative st times f double dash of t times dt now what i would do is i would be integrating we will use integration by parts So that would mean I would take u to be equal to e raised to the power of negative st and my tv I'll take it to be as f double dash of t times dt. I differentiate this quantity I would get du is equal to differential of e raised to the power of negative st the differentiation is with reference to t so it's going to be e raised to the power of negative st the coefficient of t is negative s place that multiply it with the differential operator dt now in this case of dv just integrate both sides integral of dv will give you v integral of f double dash of t dt would give you one differentiation will be removed so it's going to be f dash of t that would be the outcome that you have got 
So let me box this off. So I got a U, I got a V, I got a DU, I've got a DV. So let me write the DV down. So DV is equal to F double dash of T times DT. Now we will all be using these quantities. So we know that integration by parts formula. So what is that? Something but integral u dv is equal to uv negative integral v du. So I will be using the values of u. u is e raised to the power of negative st times my dv is f double dash of t times dt. Place the integration sign. Limits are 0 to infinity my u is e raised to the power of negative st my v is f dash of t the limits are 0 to infinity followed by a negative sign my v is f dash of t i don't want to place it as it now du is negative s e raised to the power of negative st times dt and my v is f dash of t. Now I substitute the upper limit. If I substitute the upper limit infinity, this is negative infinity that is going to be 0 followed by I substitute the lower limit is going to be 1 so this is going to be f dash of 0 followed by negative times negative will give me positive. Now I got integral of course the limits are 0 to infinity so it's going to be 0 to infinity I take the s out this is going to be e raised to the power of negative st f dash of t times dt okay now what is this value what is this value you see that we have got this value here s times Laplace transform of f of t minus f of 0 so we can use that there so if I were to rewrite this, this is going to be equal to negative f dash of 0 positive s times. So s into capital F of s minus f of 0, small lowercase f of 0. So rewriting, this is equal to negative f dash of 0 positive s squared of capital F of s minus s into f of 0. Now if I were to rewrite this again, I would like to rewrite this again as equal to, I would like to start with the higher power of s, so it's going to be s squared of capital F of s negative s into the lowercase f of 0 minus f dash of 0. What is this? This is Laplace transform of f double dash of t. So that's the solution for this question students. So now the students, the most important MIQ which is known to be as the most important question. What if they ask you to find the Laplace transform of f triple dash of t? Now, what if they ask you to find the Laplace transform of f fourth differential of t and so on and so forth. So, if they ask you Laplace uh, transforms of f triple dash of t, you cannot be indulging in solving these things because it will take a lot of time. It depends upon the order that they give. So, for that, clearly we know. Let me just show you this. The Laplace transform of f double dash of t is equal to we started off with this result s squared times Laplace transform of f of t you can write it either like this or you can write capital F of s it doesn't matter so I'm going to start off using this small f of t followed by a negative what we did 
or in other words what we got is that we got a s followed by f of 0 and the last term was f dash of 0 so why am I writing this I'm writing this for your observation so we started with degree 2 because we are dealing with double derivative and the degree of s happens to be reduced when it moves to the next term and similarly when it moves again its degree is again reduced so we start with 2 and then we have this 1 the power of s is 1 here and then the power of s is 0 here so that is the catch so the highest differential whenever it is 2 or 3 this is going to start with that degree and the first quantity is always going to be the Laplace transform of the parent function in this case it's f of t so if I were to be given Laplace transform of f triple dash of t then I would start with s cubed then I would find the Laplace transform of the parent function which is f of t and then I will reduce s by a degree so it's going to be s squared then I will have to calculate f of 0 again I will reduce this degree it's going to be s now now you can clearly see f of 0 when it moves to the next term gets a differentiation so similarly when over here when we move to the next term you place a derivative there and now reduce the degree or the exponent value for s that's going to be s0 increase the differential for f that's going to be f double dash of 0 so this is going to be for the third differential now in general if they ask you to find the Laplace transform of say f of n t and that would be you have to start with the first degree that's uh, the first value n so it's going to be s of n and Laplace transform of the parent function that's f of t followed by as I mentioned to you reduce the degree by 1 that's going to be s of n minus 1 followed by f of 0 we start with like the original function taking the value at 0 and then reduce it again it's going to be s of n minus 2 now place a differential f dash now you move on reduce it again n minus 3 place a double differential 0 and then you move on reduce it again place one more differential and following it up final term the last term would be a negative f of n minus 1 of 0 so that would be the last term so this is the nth term how exactly you can implement the formula if the differential is n so that completes our formula detection when it comes to obtaining the Laplace transforms of differentials students we will move on students in this class we will be learning Laplace transforms of integrals having studied the Laplace transforms of derivatives it becomes imperative that we know and understand how to also calculate the Laplace transforms of integrals and having mentioned this let me start off with the definition now if we were given the Laplace transform of the function f of t to be equal to f of s then the Laplace transform of f of t if it is in this fashion integral 0 to t f of t dt is equal to 1 over s times Laplace transform of f of t this can also be written as 1 over s times f of s and on the left you got Laplace transform of integral 0 to t f of t times dt so this is a very important result now the question comes how are you going to prove it so we have to establish the proof for this so that's exactly what I'm going to do proof so foremost what I would do is I would just take let g of t is equal to integral 0 to t f of t times dt now differentiating both sides
we get. So what do you get when you differentiate both sides? Differential of g of t would give you g dash of t. When you differentiate the right hand side, the integral and the differentiation gets cancelled out, giving us f of t. Now when t is equal to 0, we see that g of 0 is integral 0 to 0, f of 0 times dt. I don't want to change anything else further than that. So, this is 0. So, g of 0 is equal to 0 because the limits are stretching from 0 to 0. So, having got that, what I wish to do is I would like to take Laplace on both sides. Taking Laplace transform on both sides we get so this is going to be Laplace transform of g dash of t is equal to Laplace transform of f of t now what is Laplace transform of g dash of t okay now this is s times Laplace transform of g of t negative g of 0 is equal to Laplace transform of f of t now this is rewritten as Laplace transform of what is g of t g of t is integral 0 to t f of t times dt g of 0 is 0 this is Laplace transform of f of t now if I were to rewrite this I'm going to rewrite this as s times Laplace transform of integral 0 to t f of t times dt is equal to 0 can be dropped I get a Laplace transform of f of t now I want to push this s down here so that would mean I get a Laplace transform of integral 0 to t f of t times dt is equal to 1 over s Laplace transform of f of t this can be rewritten as 1 over s capital F of s the left you get Laplace transform of integral 0 to t f of t times dt so this is a very important result now this is the proof you see that so you can state that n proved students we are given this question we are expected to evaluate or I should say find the Laplace transform of e raised to the power of negative t that is multiplied to integral 0 to t sine t divided by t times dt so foremost what I wish to do is I wish to find the Laplace transforms of sine t over t now I know that the Laplace transform of sine t is equal to 1 over s squared positive 1 and I also know that by definition this is going to be integral s to infinity f of p times dp now this is actually f of s right now if I, I want to write this for f of p then this is going to be equal to 1 over p squared positive 1 so it doesn't matter what you're using here as long as you know the formula so this is rewritten as integral s to infinity so the Laplace transform has to be placed here so that's going to be 1 over p squared positive 1 times dp now if I were to integrate this this is going to give me tan inverse of p the limits are s to infinity I substitute the upper limit I would get tan inverse of infinity followed by the lower limit which is going to be tan inverse of s now tan inverse of infinity is going to give me pi over 2 negative tan inverse of s okay now I wish to draw your attention to a result which I already know which is tan inverse of s positive cot inverse of s is equal to pi over 2 
So from here I can rewrite this as cot inverse of s is equal to pi over 2 negative tan inverse of s. So using this this can be rewritten as cot inverse of s. So on the left I have Laplace transform of sine t over t. So now what I'm going to do is I would have to use this value over here. So let's do that. So now what we need to do is we need to calculate the Laplace transform of integral 0 to t sine t over t times dt. Now what is this? This is nothing but I can use the formula right what is the formula this is the formula I would be using so this is nothing but 1 over s times f of s right so we are actually looking for the Laplace transform of sine t over t now what is that equal to that is equal to cot inverse of s now the question wants us to find Laplace transform of e raised to the power of negative t so hence the Laplace transform of e raised to the power of negative t integral 0 to t sine t over t times dt is equal to I will write this directly so this is going to be the Laplace transform of e raised to the power of negative t integral 0 to t cos sine t dt over t. So if I take a shift of negative 1 units this is going to be 1 over in place of s I need to substitute s positive 1 and for cot inverse of s it's going to be s positive 1. So this is the final solution for this question. Now I would like to show you all one important variation to the same question. Now instead of this question being given like this, what would you do if they gave the question in this fashion to find the Laplace transform of integral 0 to t e raised to the power of negative t sine t over t times dt. Now the difference between problem 31 and 32 is that e raised to the power of negative t occurs before the integral. In this case it is part of the integrand. So there is a small change in the solution. So foremost what we will do is we will start off by finding the Laplace transform of sine t over t. Now we know that this is nothing but integral s to infinity f of p times dp and that the f of p capital f of p is 1 over p squared positive 1 so we would substitute that there and we would get s to infinity dp over p squared positive 1 which when we substitute the limits before we could do that we would have to write the output which is tan inverse of p the limits are s to infinity when we substitute the upper limit we get tan inverse of infinity negative tan inverse of s tan inverse of infinity is pi over 2 negative tan inverse of s I would like to use the result that tan inverse of s positive cot inverse of s is equal to pi over 2. Because of this I can rewrite this as cot inverse of s is equal to pi over 2 negative tan inverse of s. Now because of this if I were to take this as 2 I can rewrite 2 to be as cot inverse of s. So this is nothing but a Laplace transform of sine t over t. Now from here onwards this means the Laplace transform of e raised to the power of negative t sine t over t can be written as the shift is taking place. So that would mean cot inverse of s would become 
cot inverse of s positive 1. That is the that is the change we will have to incorporate. So we have obtained this. Now let's look into the question. So we need to obtain the Laplace transform of the integral. So therefore the Laplace transform of the integral. Say we know the result, right? We know that in for instead of saying therefore I'll say since we know that integral Laplace transform of integral 0 to t f of t times dt is equal to 1 over s capital F of s this means the Laplace transform of integral 0 to t e raised to the power of negative t sine t over t is equal to 1 over s f of s what, what did we get? it's nothing but cot inverse of s positive 1 so this is the solution so you can see there is a difference between the previous question and the question that we have just finished so the all important point is observation you have to be observant of the question where the quantities or where the functional ad attributes occur. Thank you students. Students were expected to find the Laplace transform of integral 0 to t t times e raised to the power of negative t sine t times dt. Now first what I would do is I would first find the Laplace transform of sine t. Now we know that this is 1 over s squared positive 1 Next, I would find the Laplace transform of t times sine t. So, club t with sine t, it's product, so we can do that. So, don't take e raised to the power of negative t with sine t. You wouldn't be able to achieve the result in a simplistic fashion. So, that's the reason I'm taking Laplace transform of t times sine t. So, that would mean negative 1 times d over ds, because s is the variable which I'm using here times Laplace transform of sine t. So we've already looked into this. So this can be rewritten as negative d over ds. I know Laplace transform of sine t which is 1 over s squared positive 1. I prefer to use the uv method of differentiation. Let me write that down. d differentiating u over v would give me v times u dash minus u times v dash divided by v squared. So my v is s squared positive 1, you raise to the power of 2. So s squared positive 1, differentiation of u is going to be 0 followed by a negative sign and differentiation of v dash. My u is 1. So when I differentiate s squared, I will get 2 times s. So this is rewritten as negative 2 times s divided by s squared positive 1 raised to the power of 2. So let us rewrite that. So this is equal to negative of d over ds of this quantity gives me 2 times s divided by s squared positive 1 raised to the power of 2 which is equal to 2 times s divided by I prefer to write it as 1 positive s squared raised to the power of 2. So this is what we have got for Laplace transform of t times sine t. Okay, so having got this, we will have to find, now apply the shift and get the result. So now, hence, Laplace transform of e raised to the power of negative t times t times sine t. So the shift is negative 1 unit. So when you are applying it, it's going to be 2 times of 1 positive s divided by 1 positive 1 positive s raised to the power of 2, the old quantity raised to the power of 2. This is what you've got. So you can expand it or you can rewrite it as it is. So I'm just going to write it as 2 times of 1 positive s Okay, I don't want to change how the S looks, so let it be like that. So when I expand it, 1 positive, this is going to give me S squared positive 2 times S positive 1 raised to the power of 2. 
this is equal to 2 times of 1 positive s divided by s squared positive 2 times s positive 2 raised to the power of 2. This is my Laplace transform of e raised to the power of negative t times t times sine t. So now the question comes, therefore I need to obtain the Laplace transform of integral 0 to t, t times e raised to the power of negative t sine t times dt. Now by definition this is equal to 1 over s times f of s, right? So hence rewriting this is equal to 1 over s. My f of s is going to be this entire quantity so write that down so 2 times of 1 positive s divided by s squared positive 2s positive 2 raised to the power of 2. So this is my Laplace transform of integral 0 to t, t times e raised to the power of negative t sine t dt. So we will move on to the next question students. Students we are given this question Laplace transform of e raised to the power of negative t times integral 0 to t, t times cos t dt has to be found out. So foremost what we will do is we will consider the Laplace transform of cos t. What is that? That's nothing but s over s squared positive 1. And next Laplace transform of t times cos t. And that is nothing but negative 1 times d over ds of this quantity which is nothing but f of s which is going to be equal to negative 1 times d over ds of s over s squared positive 1 which is negative d over ds of s over s squared positive 1. So we need to obtain the differentiation of this. So that is nothing but negative. I would be using u over v method. So differentiating u over v would give me v times u dash minus u times v dash over v squared. This is the formula. So using this formula I would now have s squared positive 1 times differentiation of s that's 1 negative s times differentiation of s squared positive 1 will give me 2 times s. This has to be divided by s squared positive 1 raised to the power of 2. This is equal to negative sign s squared positive 1 negative 2 times s squared divided by s squared positive 1 raised to the power of 2. This is equal to negative s squared added with negative 2s would give me 2s squared would give me negative s squared positive 1 divided by s squared positive 1 raised to the power of 2. Now I can take a negative sign out. So if I were to take a negative sign out this will become positive and I can I can write that as s squared negative 1, isn't it? If I were to take this negative sign out this would become positive but this one would become negative so that has to be divided by s squared positive 1 raised to the power of 2 and what is this this is Laplace transform of t times cos t so now the all important action is we need to integrate this so let's do that we also know that Laplace transform of integral 0 to t t times cos t dt is equal to 1 over s times f of s. So in this case we have just obtained the transform here Laplace transform. So that's going to be 1 over s times f of s is going to be s squared negative 1 divided by s squared positive 1 raised to the power of 2. So the question is Laplace transform of e raised to the power of negative t times the integration. So let me write that down. Hence Laplace transform of e raised to the power of negative t times integral 0 to t, t times cos t dt is equal to a shift of negative 1. So that means s is moving from 
S to S positive 1. This is a shift that is taking place. Okay, so let me place this in the box. So that would mean the Laplace transform would be S positive 1 raised to the power of 2 negative 1 divided by S positive 1 times S positive 1 raised to the power of 2 positive 1 raised to the power of 2. So this is the final answer. If you want to expand it, you can expand it. And however, if you choose to expand, you can just expand this. This is going to give you S squared positive 2 times S positive 1 negative 1 divided by S positive 1 times if I were to expand S positive 1 whole square, that would be S squared positive 2 times S positive 1 positive 1 reach the power of 2 which is equal to S squared positive plus 1 negative 1 gets cancelled giving me S squared positive 2S divided by S positive 1 times S squared positive 2S positive 2 raised to the power of 2. So this is the solution for this question students. So we move on to the next one. Students we are given an application question. Laplace transform of t times sin omega t is given to be as 2 omega s divided by s squared positive omega squared raised to the power of 2. We are expected to find the Laplace transform of omega t cos omega t positive sin omega t. Now clearly from this question let me write that down. From the question we know that f of t is equal to t times sine omega t. Also if I were to differentiate this I would get I'm going to use uv method so it's going to be u times v dash positive v times u dash. So by this differentiation is going to be t times differential of sine omega t is going to give me cos omega t the difference uh, the quantity with t is omega so if you differentiate this the, you will get omega there positive v my v is sine omega t and the differentiation of t would give me 1. So this can be rewritten as omega t times cos omega t positive sine omega t. Now if you were to observe the question, the question exactly wants us to find the Laplace transform of this. So this is my f dash of t. Okay, so what is required? Required is to find the Laplace transform of f dash of t. But we know that, what do we know? We know that Laplace transform of f dash of t is equal to s times f of s minus f of 0. So we would add to s, we will have to find f of s. What is f of s? Laplace transform of the function. What is that? That's nothing but f of t. So what is f of t? f of t is this. So it's Laplace transform of t times sine omega t. But what is t times sine omega t? It's Laplace transform of 2 times omega s uh, in fact, I don't need to write this as Laplace because this is the Laplace transform, right? So this is equal to 2 times omega s divided by s squared positive omega squared raised to the power of 2. So all of these things gives us f of s. So hence, Laplace transform of f dash of t is equal to s times my f of s is what? 2 times omega s divided by s squared positive omega squared raised to the power of 2 negative f of 0. Now let me let me work that out here. Given 
f of t is equal to t times sin omega t so therefore f of 0 is 0 so this is going to be 0 this is equal to 2 times omega s into s would give me s squared divided by s squared positive omega squared raised to the power of 2 which is my Laplace transform of f dash of t. Students, we are given another application problem. If Laplace transform of t times sine omega t is equal to 2 omega s divided by s squared positive omega squared raised to the power of 2, we are asked to find the Laplace transform of 2 times cos omega t negative omega t times sine omega t. So foremost from the question, we know that, or uh, I can say we observe that f of t is equal to t times sine omega t, right? So the Laplace transform of the function is what is being given. So from here, if I were to differentiate both sides, differentiating both sides, we get. So on the left, it's going to be f dash of t. On the right hand side, we have already obtained the differentiation. So let me just uh, show that f dash of t is this. So I'm going to use that result here, f dash of t is omega t times cos omega t positive sine omega t. Now I would like to differentiate this again. So differentiating the above term again we get. So what do we get? On the left it's going to be f dash of t. Uh, in fact, it's f double dash of t. On the right hand side, now let me use this space. I've got a omega t and a cos omega t and I will have to differentiate this with reference to t. So my u is omega t and my v is cos omega t. I differentiate this, I get omega. I differentiate this, I get sine omega t. Of course, there is a negative sign, and the differentiation of omega t would give me omega. So, my uv, applying uv method, is going to be u times v dash plus v times u dash, which is going to give me my u omega t and my v dash negative omega times sine omega t positive cos omega t times my u dash is going to give me omega. So I can rewrite this as negative omega times omega is omega squared times t times sine omega t positive omega times cos omega t. This is my uv. Okay, by applying UV method. So instead of this, when I differentiate this, I would be getting negative omega squared times t sine omega t positive omega times cos omega t plus differentiation of sine that's going to be cos omega t. Differentiation of omega t would give me omega. So this is my double differential. So now I can add these two quantities and I can write it as 2 times omega cos omega t negative omega squared t times sine omega t which is my f double dash of t. So we are getting what we want but with an addition or I would say with an extra omega. It's not going to stop us from achieving the result. So, so therefore, hence, Laplace transform of f double dash of t 
is going to be equal to s squared of f of s minus s of f of 0 negative uh, in fact the degree of s drops so it's going to be f dash of 0 that's it so this is the formula we will be using now my f of t okay since f of t is t times sine omega t my f of 0 is going to be 0 and my f dash of 0 my f dash of 0 is what see I need to substitute 0 this is going to be 0 this is going to be 0 so it's going to be 0 so this is to show why I'm getting f of 0 is 0 and f dash of 0 is 0 so this is going to be equal to s squared times f of s all these terms are going to be 0 0 0 giving me just s squared of capital F of s this is what I have got now on the left hand side it's going to be Laplace transform of f double dash of t but what is f double dash of t let me substitute that value so that's going to be Laplace transform of 2 omega cos omega t negative omega squared t times sine omega t which is equal to s squared but what is f of s capital f of s that's nothing but the Laplace transform that we have been given isn't it this is the transform because f of s is what let me write that down since f of s is nothing but Laplace transform of f of t right and my f of t is t times sine omega t and it's given what is given Laplace transform of t times sine omega t is given to be as 2 omega s divided by s squared positive omega squared raised to power 2 so this is all for your understanding so substitute that value so that's going to be s squared times 2 times omega s divided by s squared positive omega squared raised to the power of 2 now on the left we have got 2 omega cos omega t negative omega square t times sine omega t now clearly you see there's omega here omega here on the left on the right there's omega here so we can remove that so this would mean the Laplace transform of 2 times cos omega t negative omega times t times sine omega t is equal to 2 times omega gets dropped so I get 2 times s cubed over s squared positive omega squared raised to the power of 2 which is the final answer in fact that is what is asked right Let's just make the observation here this is what is asked and this is exactly what we have got so we'll move on to the next question students students we got this question the Laplace transform of 2 times root of t over pi is given to be as 1 over s raised to the power 3 over 2 we expected to find the Laplace transform of 1 over root of pi times t so foremost what we are given so this is the solution we are given that Laplace transform of 2 times square root of the 2 is a product multiple t over pi is equal to 1 over s raised to the power 3 over 2 so this is given so from here what do we understand or from here what do we infer about the function so I can clearly see that f of t is equal to 2 multiplied with I'm going to write this as root of t divided by root of pi this is my f of t now let us find f dash of t so I would say differentiating 
both sides we get so differential of f of t would give me f dash of t now differentiation of two times two is a constant of course we are expected to differentiate only t so let me use the space here so this is nothing but two times t raised to the power of half of course you got a pi there with the square root sign now if I were to differentiate this so I want to differentiate this quantity so if I were to differentiate this this is going to be equal to 2 over root of pi we don't have to do anything for that so this is going to be 1 over 2 times t raised to the power of 1 over 2 negative 1 and that is equal to 2 over root of pi I have to place the constant and this is t raised to the power of half negative 1 will give me negative half and I can rewrite this by cancelling the constant and I've got 1 over root of pi this is t raised to the power of negative half which can be rewritten as 1 over root of pi times root of t. What is this? This is differentiating 2 over root of pi times t raised to the power of half. So this is what I get. So let me place that. So that is going to be 1 over root of pi times root of t. Now let me find the Laplace transform for f dash of t. Hence, the Laplace transform of f dash of t is going to be s times capital F of s minus f of 0. Right, this is the formula. We will have to use. You might be wondering why am I taking the Laplace transform of f dash of t? Why the necessity arises? Simple. If you were to observe the question, the question wants us to find Laplace transform of 1 over root of pi t. And where could I get that 1 over root of pi t? Simply by differentiating the function. When I differentiate f of t, I get what is inside the parenthesis. So that's a reason for me showing you the f dash of t value. Okay, having mentioned that, we are now left to find the Laplace transform of 1 over root of pi times root of t, which is equal to s times, this is s, f of s. What is f of s? Now let me just show it to you. f of s is nothing but the Laplace transform of f of t. Right? So that would mean we would have to go to the question and check it out. What is that? Because f of t is 2 into root of t divided by root of pi. And this Laplace transform is already given. So that's going to be 1 over s raised to the power of 3 over 2 negative my f of t is 2 times root of t divided by root of pi so my f of 0 is going to be 0 so place the value 0 now what have I got I've got a s over s raised to the power 3 over 2 so if I were to move them up so it's going to be s raised to the power of 1 negative 3 over 2 that's going to be s raised to the power of 2 negative 3 over 2 which is going to be s raised to the power of negative 1 over 2 which can be written as 1 over s raised to the power of half which is nothing but 1 over root of s so the outcome therefore Laplace transform of 1 over root of pi times root of t is this.
So that completes our study on Laplace transforms of derivatives and integral students. Enjoy your day.